What is past cannot be fixed, what is present can only be experienced. What is next has to be created. Well, there is a whole misunderstanding about this aspect of life because memory is seeping into present experience. Memory is also projecting itself into a, the next moment or tomorrow. So most of the suffering that human beings go through is just this. They are experiencing memory like it's a living thing. Memory is the basis of the enrichment and the richness of our life. The richer your memory is, more vivid your memory is. Life becomes spectacular, but because what is past and gone by is seeping into today, you lose your ability to experience what is right now. And what is past is seeping into tomorrow. The problems of yesterday are getting multiplied and being projected into tomorrow. So, when we say karma, most people are always thinking past karma. Past karma is there for sure, influencing you, setting tendencies in your life. But the most important thing is the present karma, that you take this present karma into your hands. That is, you conduct this present moment consciously and craft a tomorrow, craft your destiny. This is only available to you if you know how to keep your past in a bag, a bag that is accessible to you, but not dripping on you all the time. You need to fix the holes in the bag. If you put this bag with a leak, then it drips on you all the time. You have to make sure your bag is tight, but it's with you because the entire richness of one's experience is gone if you obliterate the past. Past is very important in terms of experience. Present is most important because that is the only thing you can experience. Future, we must craft it. What we craft for tomorrow depends on our capabilities, competence, times in which we exist. And above all, being able to keep a safe distance from the past experience of life, being able to utilize it, not being overwhelmed by the past. For this, there is a whole scientific process as to how to do it. In many ways, the yogic sciences are all about this, how to make the experience of your life most profound. If you want this life to become profound, it is important to understand, you can think about the past, you can think about the future, but you always know, you thinking about the past and you thinking about the future also is happening only now. Now is all that you can experience. This moment is eternity. If you know this moment in its fullest depth, then you know eternity. You become beyond time and space simply because you have fallen into this moment, absolutely. It is not that you are not, everything that you are as a life, you are in this moment. Only because you have taken your psychological structures too seriously, you have misunderstood your psychological activity as reality. That is why it looks like you are divorced from this moment. You are not divorced from now, you are existing in now, you are breathing in now. You're alive in now, but you have taken your psychological process of thought and emotion as reality. No, it's a drama that you create. Direct the drama well and have a great time with the drama.